Hey everybody, what's up? Elric here once again with another video of technology, this time more VGA goodness. Got this card right in front of me right here. This is the XFX R9 380X card. Four gigabyte card coming to market at about $249 with kind of strange positioning. It's between the GTX 960 and the GTX 970, being that this thing's $249. With that said though, let's do what you guys like. Let's do an unboxing. So first of all, here's the front of the box. Here is the back of the box. Nothing too spectacular there, it's a box. So we'll go ahead and pop the cap here. And inside we have more boxception with a box inside of a box, again, like always. So we'll pop that out to see the contents. Not too much in there. Get that going at the camera man once again, slamming it, ooh, smacked on everything as that one went to smacking. So what do you got in here? So, all right, we have two Molex, two six pin power connectors. So if your power supply doesn't have the proper ones, you have two Molex to six pin right here. You have the warranty card, registration card. You've got the drivers. And you've got, uh, <laughs> this is what I always crack up, a driver installation guide to tell you how to use your CD. First, take your CD from package, then insert into the CD player and follow on screen directions. That's right. And then last but not least, we have the card itself. And we'll pop that out of there, out of its anesthetic bag. And there we go. So let's jump in and let's start checking out the card. Aesthetically speaking, the card is pretty simple, but it's also pretty cool looking. It sports two simple fans in the front that both have the XFX nomenclature. And if you spin the card around on the end, it continues to have that nomenclature at the bottom of the card. And as we spin the card to the side, you guys can see part of the cooling apparatus. You can see part of the heat fins coming through as well as some of the electronics of the card. And as we spin the card around to its back, we can see there are two six pin power connectors. AMD recommends a minimum of 650 watt power supply, but XFX themselves says to use an 850 watt power supply according to what they feel. Taking a look at the top of the card, you guys can clearly see all of the heat pipes and a little bit more of the electricity all underneath that on the circuit board. And everything's pretty much focused on the GPU. Everything's focused to keep that GPU running cool. And the two fans actually blow across all the electronics, but the main cooling is going to the GPU, all of your heat pipes and all that stuff. And that's being dissipated out of those heat pipes and then just blown out away from the card to keep the card running cool. As far as the card's dimensions go, for centimeters, it's 23.4 by 11.5 by 3.81. And for those of us here in the States, that's 9.21 by 4.53 by 1.5 inches. The R9 380X has four gigabytes of GDR5 memory with a 256-bit memory interface, and the memory clock speed is clocked at 5700. Now, as we spin the card around to the back side, I notice where some people, including myself, are going to be a little bit disappointed because there's no backplate. I really love a backplate on a card. It, it protects it and just makes the card much better place. And really with no backplate, that just to me is kind of like just an easy way to short your card out. Having that backplate to me is a very important thing. I think many of you people feel the same way. Hey, leave your comments down below. Now, last but not least, we're gonna take a look through I.O., which features a single DVI-D, single DVI-I, a display port, and an HDMI connector. So that's the card, that's what comes in the box. Now let's get to what you guys really wanna know. How does this thing do against the competition? Well, let's check that out. Real quick, before we check out those benchmark scores, let's real quickly take a look at our test system. We've been using this test system for quite a while. We'll be upgrading it around the first of the year, but this one's been pretty good for us so far.
folks. So those are the scores and how the card looks. Now let's talk about some other stuff. As far as power consumption goes, in idle, it was doing about 112. Under standard operations, it was doing about 311. And when it was overclocked and stuff, it was doing between like 336 to 338. So that's not all that bad. Now, as far as heat and temperatures go, on idle, it was about 33 and was booming at full blast. It was about 70 degrees Celsius. So all in all, it's learning a little bit of a hot for a card at size. Now, the big thing that I'm concerned about about this card is that it's $249, and the $249 price range, it puts it in a very weird spectrum with the people at NVIDIA because they have cards that are just slightly higher, but that run a little bit faster. I mean, you can get a GTX 970 card for just a wee bit more, and it runs a lot faster. So that kind of like puts this card, like I said, in a really weird spot. Now, if you're an AMD fan and you only want an AMD card strictly, then this is something you're going to want to look at. I think, however, that some of the 8 gigabyte cards, the 390Xs and those, I would be more tending to go in those directions unless you're really trying to save money. I mean, this card to me is okay. No offense, NVIDIA, but as far as the whole market of card goes, this is one of those cards that I have to say, in my opinion, just kind of meh. It's kind of all right. It's kind of there. Um, I don't know if I'd really go out of my way to buy this card. And that's just me. But for people out there who are solid AMD fans, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this card at all. So I don't want anybody to get a mixed message or anything. There's nothing wrong with this card. But if you're going to be going for raw performance and stuff and you're looking at the numbers and stuff, well, then it starts to become a very tough decision. So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Hope you guys like this style of video. I just want to tell you guys that I am going all the way back to my roots. Starting at the beginning of the year, everything will be consolidated back to here. I'm doing my absolute best to get my health back together. And I know what you guys want. You guys don't want all this other stuff I'm doing. You guys want my PC stuff. So I will be going back to my roots and bringing you all kinds of crazy PC stuff. So stick around. Don't give up on me yet. I appreciate you guys being here. For more information, you guys are looking to buy this card or you guys want to find more information, it'll be all down there below that like button. So peace out and we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech goodness.